So we're back with another brew from Land and Golds, and this is Mardu Greasefang in Modern. So the idea here is that we are going to try to discard Parhelion and then reanimate it with Greasefang to deal a whole bunch of damage. So our discard effects are Underworld Cookbook, and we've got Goblin Engineer to put it directly into the graveyard from our library, and then get to Greasefang. And in the best case scenario, we can go turn one Cookbook, discard Parhelion, turn two, discard Greasefang, and reanimate it with Unearth, or Recommission and get a turn two Grease Fang. We've also got Asmo, Thoughtseize, which in a pinch we could technically Thoughtseize our own Parhelion or Grease Fang into the yard if we need to, but we'd have to have double Thoughtseize for that, so unlikely. And then we've got the whole Cookbook Oval Chase Daredevil loop, so we can keep making extra foods every single turn. Urza Saga, of course, and we can fetch Cookbook or Shadow Spear or Pithing Needle. There's a one of Dusk Rose Reliquary, so we can deal with problem opposing creatures like uh, Dothy Voidwalker is one of the big ones that comes to mind, or Artifact. There is Tarion's Journal, so we can keep eating the excess food to draw cards. Phyrexian Dragon Engine as another thing that we can bin to Engineer that we can bring back. We can also bin the Journal if we want. There's also Brass's Tunnel Grinder, which is yet another artifact that we can bin to Engineer. And this is ETB, discard any number of cards, draw that many plus one. Mostly to just get rid of excess stuff we don't need. So we can like discard oval chases and then just get them back. We can discard excess Parhelions that are in our hand, etc. Brass's Tunnel Grinder also will flip. So at the beginning of end step, if you descended this turn, so if you put a permanent in your graveyard from anywhere, put a boar counter, then if there's three boar counters, you can transform it into a land that taps a red and says whenever you cast a permanent spell using mana produced by Tekutlon, discover X where X is the mana value. So primarily we're trying to cheese people with Parhelion. But we can also play a grindy game using Cookbook, Oval Chase shenanigans, making Saga tokens, potentially killing opposing creatures with Asmo. Then the rest of the mana base is pretty straightforward. Just Mardu mana base includes Atakanuma and Mount Doom. Then in the sideboard, we've got Fragmentize to deal with various artifacts and enchantments that we need to hit, such as Leyline of the Void, Opposing Urza Saga decks, Amulet of Vigor, etc. Tithing Blade, which we can loop with the Engineers. So the fact that we keep making foods with Oval Chase Daredevil means we can keep looping stuff with Engineer. So if we're playing a deck that has a lot of creatures in it, we can keep looping the Tithing Blades. Then there's Chalice of the Void for Cascade, Engineered Explosives for Rhinos, among other things, Stone Brain, Damping Sphere, and then some Graveyard Hate Soul Guide Lantern, and an additional Pithing Needle primarily for Yawgmoth. So yeah, I'm gonna play <laughs> Modern... <laughs> Ugh, modern. Ugh. Okay, let's let's just get it out of the way. <sighs> All right, we're on the play for round one. Let's see. We have Cookbook, da Daredevil, Parhelion. The only thing we're missing is Grease Fang, but we only also we also only have one land. Yeah. Okay, Mulbus. Uh, now we're missing a discard outlet, but I'm not tossing this. So I guess I'm gonna put. I guess I keep and I put back Asmo. Yeah. All right. Put that back. Well. Bloodstain Mire, go. Seiju into Grazer. Cool, we're playing Amulet. Urza Saga. Ugh, so bad. Fetch. I need white mana, I guess, so let's grab Godless Shrine. Play land, play Tarion's Journal. Man, they can even make a construct too. Well, I guess not if they don't play a land. All right, back to us. Tunnel Grinder, which we need to play first because we need to get this stuff into the graveyard. So, Bloodstained, fetch. All right, Um, I guess a tap land, or uh, shock land is fine, right? Yeah, let's just grab a mountain. Play Tunnel, trigger this. Let's discard Parhelion and Grease Fang. All right, activate this only as a sorcery. Let's just get rid of the Tunnel Grinder now. Sack that. Okay, hopefully we don't die next turn. There's Amulet. So Amulet, three mana, Dryad. No extra lands. Huh. All right, well, double Asmo. Probably Thoughtseize them. Thoughtseize, what you got going? Okay, so they don't have the lands, so therefore we take... It doesn't even matter. I guess Grazer is the cheapest way they have of getting more mana. So let's just take Grazer. <laughs> All right. Unearth, Grease Fang, Combat, Trigger, grab this, then Crew, Combat, Swing, Trigger. All right. Make this stuff. Play a tap land. And then I actually, no, I should just sack Barhelion, right? Because it's going to go back to my hand anyway. Yeah, sack Barhelion. All right. Did they get there? They basically needed to have drawn a bounce land, right? That's the only way that they're getting out of this. Although even if they did, no, they have exactly six if they drew a bounce land. Summoner's Pact for a Grazer. Summoner's Pact for Cultivator. Okay. Do you have, you must have the bounce land then, right? Grazer puts in Simic Growth Chamber. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess we're dead. Cultivator. Oh, they hit. Yeah. So land, land, land. 
<sighs> then I get to play Titan, fetch up the Valakuts, and we're dead. No? I I'm so confused. How did we win that? They could have just played Titan and just won the game instead of playing Cultivator. Okay, sure. Uh, what are we sideboarding? I guess Chalice on zero to name Summoner's Pact. What else? Damping Sphere stop makes the bounce lands awful. Uh, Fragmentize to blow up Saga slash Amulet. I guess we can Stone Brain certain combos out of their deck. We can either name Titan or Valakut. Don't want to needle anything. Maybe Besaju, but we don't need two needles for sure. Tithing Blade is also fine. Dusk Rose is awful against a Besaju deck. What else? They're pretty fairly immune to Thoughtseize. Let's see. Shadow Spear is probably not beating them. Asmo, if we can get it online fast enough, it's generally not good though. The Tithing Blades don't work because their sorcery speed and all their stuff wins on their own turn. Also, they have random grazers to just absorb the edict. Let's see. Dragon Engine is like for sure never going to come up in this matchup. Oval Chase is also pretty weak. Like we're just not going to have the time to ever have some sort of recursive engine to make that get, like to actually have that get going, right? It's either that or Tunnel Grinder. All right, let's do that. Oh, we only have one land and it's a mountain. Molt. We still only have one land and we can't do anything with this hand. Molt. All right, we can actually do something with this hand. What am I putting away? The only thing that actually kills them? I mean, yeah. All right, put these back. Forest, Grazer, Urza Saga. All right, so Bloodstained, Fetch, Grab Godless Shrine, Fragmentize this. Plays Amulet, Asuva copies Forest, sure. And then they don't have anything else to do. All right, so there's Barhelion. All right, well, I guess we're just playing Stonebrain. Uh, grab a Mountain. Stonebrain, Simic Growth Chamber, tap, tap, four mana. The ring. I can't even target them. Well, we lose. We just instantly lose because they played a four mana card. Hey, it's Fragmentize. I also can't target this. All right, I guess I Fragmentize the amulet. Play land, go. Plays another amulet anyway. Saga, amulet, amulet. All right, whatever. Sanctuary, trigger. Plays Grazer. Puts the land back. All right, end of their turn. We're just going to cycle on Earth because we got nothing else to do. Sage is our stone brain. Sure. All right, let's just grab all the other shock lands out of our deck. Or I guess I can take less damage here if I just fetch a swamp. All right, swamp. Cycle this. All right, we found Grease Fang, but we can't actually bring any, we can't bring Parhelion back with it. Chalice of the Void for zero. Sure. So Grease Fang, Chalice on zero. Over to them. Triad, Bajuka Bog. Sure. Mycosynth Gardens, which can be another amulet. Somehow they still haven't found a way to kill us. Well, we can't do anything either. So combat, attack with Grease Fang, jump with Grazer. I guess I'm actually just going to cast Daredevil because I've got nothing else to do. Copies Amulet. Mm -hmm. There's the Titan. So now we just lose the game. I'm not going to waste time having them go through it. It's fine. All right. Uh, I mean, let's not change anything. Run it back. I guess another needle could have been warranted for the ring. It's fine. Whatever. All right. No lands. Maul. Hey, it's some lands. Keep this. The worst card here is Chalice, I think. Yeah, put Chalice back. Blood Crypt. Shock the Sin. Play Cookbook. Seiju into Grazer into Growth Chamber. All right. Let's discard Parhelion. Come on, Unearth. No. All right. Back over to them. Oh, come on. Bajukabog? Sure. Now we definitely lose. All right. Let's just go fetch Godless Shrine and then pop this food token. I don't know. All right. Fragmentize this. Play Marsh Flats. Go. Growth Chamber picking up Bajukabog. End of turn fetch. Let's go grab our last Shock Land. Three Grease Fangs. Cool. This deck is amazing. It's actually not the deck. It's Moto being garbage with the variants. Dismember the Grease Fang. Sure. Pajukabog returns. Goodbye, Graveyard. There's an Earth. Doesn't matter. Play Grease Fang. Gruel Turf picking the land up. Okay. Then not doing anything with it. So they tapped for, no ma for mana for no reason. Okay. Let's cycle and try to hit Parhelion. Fragmentize, which we can't do anything with. All right. Combat. Attack with the Grease Fang. They block. Okay, how dead are we? Cultivator, yeah. So they get to draw their whole deck. Cultivator is a 12-12. Then they get to pick up Talaria West. So even if we weren't dead this turn, we're dead next turn. Well, actually, we're super dead next turn because Sunhome makes us have double strike and then we just lose. All right, let's discard Fragmentize and gain some life. Not that it really matters. I mean, like, maybe we can survive one hit. We, we can't, though. Unearth, cycle this. Nope. I guess I can thought seize them, but we're just dead to Cultivator, right? They play another land. Cultivator's an 11-11. It attacks for 22, and then we just lose. All right, thought seize you. Dismember. Yeah, okay, we're done. Round two on the draw. We have one land hand again. How many lands are in this deck? 22? All right, then. Yeah, I can't keep this. Well, all right. Keep putting back, I don't know, 
Brass's tunnel grinder? That just can't be right. I'm almost certainly gonna thought seize them. I guess I could technically thought seize myself and then unearth Asmo. Why? So Asmo's gonna take forever to actually get cast. So let's just put Asmo back. Verdant, fetch, overgrown tomb, ignoble hierarch. Okay, so Yogmoth. We drew another unearth. All right, thought seize. Yog, wall roots, take Yog. All right, land wall, wall. All right, then marsh flats. And then we'll just pass and cycle on earth, I guess. Verdant, no attacks, which means they have cord. All right, fetch. I mean, we just lose the game. They cord for Yogmoth, we d we instantly die. Blood Crypt, shock us in, cycle on earth. There's Grease Fang. All right, shock this in, tunnel grinder. Is Yogmoth playing Thoughtseize nowadays? Because if it is, I'm more likely to not bin the Grease Fang, but if it isn't, then we'll just bin it. They're playing Endurance though, right? I guess if they have Endurance, then our whole plan gets shot anyway. All right, let's just discard everything but, un but unearth. All right, back to them. I mean, even if I unearth Grease Fang, they can just shoot it with three creatures. Fetch a tap land. No, they didn't have cord. Why didn't they attack then? All right, now they're attacking. So we go to 12. Black Cleave. All right, unearth the Grease Fang. Attempt to go to combat. Trigger. Oh, now they have cord. Uh-huh. Sack, targeting Grease Fang. So they just reduced it enough that, so that I can't crew. Sure. Well, can't actually do anything. Second main, play this tapped, play Engineer. I'm actually, I guess I go grab Pithing Needle and then they just kill Engineer, right? Tarion's Journal, maybe? It doesn't matter, they can just kill it. Anything that I put in the graveyard, they'll just kill Engineer before I can do anything with it. All right, let's bin Tarion's Journal. Then end step, this triggers. Orcish Bowmasters, goodbye, Grease Fang. And then the Orcish Bowmasters alone is enough fodder for the Yawgmoth to kill Engineer off. Shoots, Engineer. Zulaport Cutthroat was their draw, all right. Sacks wall, engineer dies, plays young wolf. They didn't even bother attacking. So do they just have cord? No, they don't have cord because they only have two green creatures. All right, two engineers. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Like, what am I going to do? There's just no point in continuing. There's absolutely no way I can win this game. Let's just move to the next one. All right, I don't know. Soul guide, pithing needle, stone brain. Is tithing blade even good? I guess like they don't always have an undying creature. So let's see, Shadow Spear, useless. Uh, these, useless. I guess Asmo can kill their stuff. That's not coming up. That's not coming up. They run Besage you in their deck, so Dusk Rose isn't even helpful. All right, let's just bring these in and not bother with Tithing Blade. Actually, Asmo can't even kill Yogmoth, right? Target creature deals six damage to itself. Yogmoth's a human and is pro-human, so, so Asmo can't even kill it. It can just kill all of their other creatures. All right, fine. Let's do this. I should have some way of getting rid of their guys, right? Maybe Tithing Blade is fine. Get rid of one Asthma, one Oval Chase. All right, Thoughtseize with Urza Saga following up, sure. So Black Cleave, Thoughtseize. Oh man, I guess I take Cord. All right, back to them. Verdant, Fetch, play Halfling. I don't actually want to play Saga this turn because it means next turn when I cast Grease Fang, I can't activate to make a Karnstruct. So I don't know, maybe I do just make two Karnstructs. All right, Saga. I don't have anything to do with Grease Fang anyway, so I may as well just play this. And then the Bowmasters can kill my 1-1 Karnstruct. Halfling attacks. Trigger, play Black Cleave, go. Now there's gonna flash Bowmasters in anyway. All right, swings with the Orcs. All right, no response. End step. All right, make a Karnstruct. Seiju the Saga, sure. Go and grab Blood Crypt tapped. All right, we have a 1-1 Karnstruct. Another Bowmasters, amazing. All right, Karnstruct dies. Hey, there's Asmo. It can't do anything though. Shock and Godless Shrine, play this, go. All right. Their hand is Dryad Arbor, Zulaport. Play Zulaport. Hey, we're still not drawn Jack and can't do anything. All right, play this land tapped and go. Play as a Halfling, play as Dryad. They're gonna start attacking anyway because it's enough damage plus the drain to just kill us regardless. All right, well, I guess I'm blocking Zulaport. All right, we're at six. Holy shit, can I draw something? Like anything that, to affect the board. Stone Brain, target you, name Yogmoth. All right, eat all of these. Oh, what else is in their deck? Is it the usual? Shieldred is in here. Hepatra Grist. All right. They did bring in Force of Vigor and Terra Sunder. Eat all the Augs. So even if they draw nothing this turn, I still just go to one and then I'm dead next turn. Oh, wait, no. Actually, am I straight up dead? Yeah, they have lethal, right? No, they have they have five. Five damage, we go to one. All right. We're at one. Draw, best draw would be Cookbook. And it's nothing. All right. Very cool. On the play for round three, our hand actually has Cookbook Asmo, finally. But we're going to turn one Thoughtseize. So keep. And we've got Oval Chase. So we actually have a hand that's keepable. Wow. All right. Fetch. Let's grab, I don't know, Blood Crypt. Thoughtseize. We're playing against Eldrazi Tron. All right. Take Matter Reshaper. Mine Collar. All right. 
land, Let's make sure we get our white source. So Sacred Foundry, Shock the Sin, Cookbook, Discard Daredevil, Play Asmo, and they're conceding to that. All right. All right, E-Tron. There's what? Hypothetically, we can stone brain them off Tron. What else? Needle can name... Depends on what's in their deck. Fragmentize for Urza's Saga. They also have some amount of artifacts. Tithing Blade might be decent as well. I don't think any of this is... Oh, Damping Sphere. Cut them off Tron. All right, what's bad? Anything... No, see, slow stuff is actually good against them because they don't have as much like big Tron bomb stuff. I'm going to say... Thoughtseize is probably not so great, so we can cut all of that. And what else? The grindy cards are actually good, though. Stonebrain's probably not good. Let's bring in these four. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, oh, they have conceded again. Okay, I'm... Maybe they have to go. I don't know. Well, a win's a win. On the play for round four. Double Thoughtseize, keep. Fetch, Swamp, Thoughtseize. It's Yogg again. Ugh. What are the best things to take? It's for Cord for sure is one of them. What is the other one? Strangle Root Geist? Let's just take Cord. Blooming Marsh, Halfling. All right, Meyer, Fetch, Grab Mountain, Play Engineer, Trigger. What am I putting in the yard? With this hand, it might honestly be Dragon Engine. Like this hand's pretty bad. All right, let's put Dragon Engine in the yard. Over to them. Overgrown Tomb, we can't block because if we do, then the Orcish Bowmasters hits us. All right, well, they didn't play Strangle Root, so they're just holding Bowmasters open. All right, well, I guess I thought sees them, they flash Bowmasters in. Yeah, all right, thought sees. No, they're not. Oh, they have cord in their hand. All right, take cord. I think it probably is worth it to just lose everything in my hand for Dragon Engine. All right, so let's play that. I guess technically if I draw into... No, there's nothing I can draw into that actually wins right now. So let's just pass. I'm just going to fetch a white shock land. Oh, I have no artifact to sack. Right, duh. Why did I think I could do that? Yeah, Bowmasters. All right, we're at 13. Back to them. Strangle Root. Tax with these two. Oh, come on. Do you really have another Bowmasters? All right, no blocks. Well, if they had another Bowmasters, they would have attacked with the Orc army, right? I can just never risk blocking, because what if they have another one? All right, they didn't. Fetch. Let's grab a uh, Godless Shrine. Hey, there's Cookbook. All right, so Cookbook. Play this. Discard Barhelion. Then let's weld this with the food token. Dragon Engine Trigger. Discard Draw. Oh, yeah, the Bowmasters. God damn it. We have to do it. Yeah, use the ability. <sighs> Shooting Engineer and us, sure. Literally can't play anything else this turn, so... Actually, I guess we can unearth the Engineer, right? Yeah, let's just do that. Unearth, Engineer, Trigger. All right, let's go get Needle, I guess. Over to them. Swings with all this stuff. All right, let's chump here. I guess we actually trade with that. And let's block the Young Wolf. Take three, go to five. These trade. Plays another Young Wolf. All right, we can finally Grease Fang Parhelion back. So Grease Fang, go to combat. Grease Fang triggers, bring back Parhelion, crew Parhelion, combat, attack with Parhelion, then damage, and then we can weld the Parhelion and get what back? Needle and just name Yogmoth, and then we have two blockers. Block here, block here, take three. Okay. I guess I don't have to weld immediately, right? I can wait, and I can just weld the cookbook. The cookbook is going to discard this, right? Yeah, so trigger, bounce back to my hand, and then if they cast Yogg or Grist, I can weld in response. Eldritch Evolution. All right, so I have to weld and, and hit Yogmoth now. Ugh, man, but they can also just grab Grist. <laughs> it's so annoying. So now they can grab either one and I can't respond. So if I grab... Okay, so if I grab Needle and I name Yogmoth and they grab Grist, they sack one of their creatures that doesn't matter to blow up one of my angel tokens. I block the Strangle Root and I still take Lethal and die. God damn it. So I have to allow this to resolve. So I actually have to allow this to resolve. Ugh, unbelievable. All right, yeah, so it resolves. Blood Artist is what they grabbed. So we're dead no matter how we block, basically. These can bump off of each other, and then I can block here and here and take four? Yeah, right? So block here, block here, block here. Their two creatures die and we take two and we don't lose the game. Why didn't they just grab Grist and kill us? All right, we're at three, two Blood Artist triggers. Cookbook, discard Parhelion. Should I weld anything right now? I guess not. I mean, they're just dead to the angel tokens, right? Like, oh, they can sack Wall of Roots. Oh, but we still just gain life off the food token. All right, gain life off the food. Sure. So Needle, Stone Brain, Soul Guide, Thoughtseize out. Even though Thoughtseize was really good that game. Maybe it's not Thoughtseize. Nah, like, Asmo being in play is important. Maybe it's not Thoughtseize. Maybe it's uh, Dusk Rose, Tunnel Grind. I guess they're a, they're, they're a Bowmaster deck, right? So Tunnel Grinder, Dragon Engine... I guess Tarion's Journal too. So just cut these, these, 
All right, let's do that. We only have one land again, mole. All right, keep and put away one of the cookbooks. So we've got turn two, engineer, ditch the Parhelion, turn three, bring it back. So marsh flats, fetch. We do technically need to not take as too much damage. So swamp, play cookbook, over to them. Fetch is verdant. Goose, sure. Cauldron. Oh, and the cauldron makes us not able to get Parhelion out of the yard because they can exile it. Well, that entire plan is shut down now. So now what? So anything that I engineer into the yard doesn't matter anymore. So I should just play Saga and try to kill them with Karnstruct? I guess so. Fetch is Dryad Arbor. And then they have Cord, but it's not enough to get Yogg, right? Cord for one. Okay. Haywire Might. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that plan's gone. Oh my God. They can Soul Cauldron Haywire Might and then they just keep haywiring every turn. So we just can never, ever do anything. The Soul Cauldron single-handedly kills us. All right. Shock this in, play Engineer. I've got nothing else to do. May as well put Parhelion in the yard. I guess I can put like Needle in the yard and then they just eat it. So it doesn't matter. All right, Parhelion in the yard. Sure. Over to them. Yep, takes Parhelion. Literally our entire game plan is shut down now. Single target graveyard hate that they can activate at instant speed for free. And we have no answer to it. Other than just naturally drawing Needle. Oh, they also have Yogmoth. Yeah, okay, we're done. I'm not gonna bring Fragmentize in just to hit Soul Cauldron. EE maybe? Like, at least it blows up other stuff. Ugh. Let's cut recommission for EE. -E. Huh. This hand is so bad. We have a bunch of cards that we can't do anything with. Yeah, Mo. Well, this hand's better, I guess. Keep. Toss a Grease Fang back. So, shock this in. Play Cookbook. Over to them. Delighted Halfling. Back to us. Well, there's a Parhelion. Let's just do this. Engineer a Parhelion away in case we happen to draw white mana. Trigger. I guess actually we don't need to do that, right? Because we can cookbook the Parhelion. So I should grab something in case we don't draw white. So I should grab, oh man, Stonebrain or Needle? I guess Needle. All right, grab Needle, go to them. Pendlehaven, they don't have any black mana. Huh, I'm actually lying. They have black mana for Gris off of the Halfling, but they don't have other black mana. Oh, of course it's Soul Cauldron. All right, well, can't do anything. All right, let's just cookbook the Parhelion because it doesn't matter anyway. So from now on, I got to keep holding up red mana. And then, and we have, we did draw the land. Christ. Okay. Game plan is just kill them with Saga. So fetch, grab the planes so that they can't like besage you it in response to me fetching. All right. Over to them. Yeah. Now they're going to play Grist. Yep. Plus make a guy. Mm-hmm. All right. Make a Karnstruct. They didn't Soul Cauldron in response. So yeah, we just got to make another Karnstruct. Saga. Okay, good. They didn't activate in response. So let's just needle the Soul Cauldron now. Or do I even do that? Do I just needle Yogg? I guess I needle Soul Cauldron, right? Because then I can Parhelion next turn. So second needle, name Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Combat. Attack, Gris, attack. I guess attack them. No, attack Gris. Nope, they're just going to let Gris die. All right. So does the Soul Cauldron let you exile Gris and then still have Gris's loyalty abilities? Because it's a creature. I would think you would get them. You would just only be able to activate the plus at first. All right, they didn't do anything. So they're just missing lands. Oh, wow, we drew Unearth. All right, so we can just Cookbook, Grease Fang, Unearth, win. Discard Grease Fang, Unearth. They have Endurance and they're exiling Corda Calling. All right, you got us. They could have just cast Endurance. They had the mana for it. Oh, they have a second Cord of Calling and they're going to Cord for two before it dies or one. Cord for one, okay. Oh, it's going to be Haywire Might so they can Haywire the Needle. <sighs> yep, and I had to tap my red source so this doesn't work anymore. Combat, swing all... Then they block, shoot, then the Soul Cauldron's back online, and I can't Soul Cauldron anything in response. I guess I should have Soul Cauldroned first, right? Yeah. All right, so Needle's offline. Ugh. All right, play Soul Guide. Targets Gris. Yep. Counter on Insect Token. Soul Guide the Haywire Might. So now the Insect can make more Insects. Soul Cauldroning the Endurance. I probably have to respond by blowing that up. All right, Sack Soul Guide. Just got to stop them from putting another counter on a guy. They finally found their black mana. Oh, just has a grist anyway. All right. Sack's delighted halfling, blowing up engineer. Then they've got double blocks to protect grist. Oh my god. All right. Combat. Attack grist. All right. Grist dies. Doesn't even matter. Thought seize. There's Yogmoth. If I take Yogmoth, it actually gives them access to Yogmoth. So I have to take Bowmasters. Right, take Bowmasters, play a land. They'll be able to exile and then have two different creatures with counters on them so they can make two insects a turn so our constructs can never get through uh-huh all right cool so now we can never hit them for the rest of the game and the moment they draw a second black source uh, actually they fetch oh 
They have half, they have delighted halfling, so it didn't matter anyway. All right, yeah, we're done. On the play, round five, what do we got? Sure, this is fine. Keep shrine, cookbook, over to them. Urza's tower into map. All right, discard daredevil. We can needle the map. Oh, man, there's engineer into grease fang. Oh, okay, let's assume they have Tron, right? So we're delaying by a turn by doing it the other way. Let's just go for the kill. Engineer, grab Parhelion. There's the mine. Cookbook this. All right, Saga, trigger. Grease Fang, go to combat. Bring back the Parhelion. Crew Parhelion. Combat, swing, make angels. Dismember Parhelion, but they didn't do it before I attacked. Okay, why didn't they just dismember Grease Fang? Uh-huh, yeah. All right, let's just discard Daredevil now. Probably the worst possible time they could have cast Dismember. Uh, yeah, okay. Verse Tron, we're going to want Fragmentize to blow up map on turn one. We're going to want Needle. We're going to want Damping Sphere. We're going to want Stone Brain. So we want all of this. And then the stuff that we don't care about is anything that's long and grindy that doesn't matter. Uh, Dusk Rose, Shadow Spear, Asmo. It's t creatures only, right? Yeah, Asmo. Uh, what else? Tunnel Grinder slash Dragon Engine, one of those cards. Actually, Chalice is good against them. So Chalice in... So Dragon Engine out, Tunnel out. Uh, we don't need these. All right, it's acceptable. Keep Tower, Relic. Well, it's not acceptable anymore. I guess we still have a Thoughtseize. Fetch this, Thoughtseize them. Stirring, Stirring, Sylvan Scrying, Map. I guess I take Sylvan Scrying. I guess Sylvan Scrying is more expensive than Map to deploy, where, they, where otherwise they can go Map Stirrings. So let's just take, let's take the Map. All right, take the Map. Stirrings, Power Plant, Relic, eat that. So Marsh Flats, Fetch, grab Sacred Foundry, play Engineer. Oh, what am I binning? Not that it matters because they're going to Relic. So if they're going to Relic anyway, I may as well just get rid of Parhelion since I have one in my hand regardless. Yeah, Pops Relic, Chromatic Sphere, hmm. Pop, and Sylvan for the last piece. Yep, we drew Grease Fang. We can't do anything though. Cycle, play this, tap. Tack for one. Maybe I was supposed to take one of the Ancient Stirrings and just accept that there's no way I'm going to keep them off Tron and just keep them off of more draws. Plays Karn. Yeah, we're dead. Grabs the ring. Plays the ring. Plays a land. Uh, all right. So I don't think it matters. Cycle. Yeah, all right. We're dead. I think instead of Tarion's Journal, I should give myself an ability to ditch my hand and draw more. So let's just bring Dragon Engine back in as a possible Engineer hit. But other than that, this is the same. All right. This is also, I guess, acceptable. Again, it depends on what they have. Like this hand's very good against map, but it's very bad against everything else. Keep flats. Go. I could have blind needled, but I don't know what I'm supposed to name. Chromatic Sphere. All right, can't name that. But I can blow it up. So I need to fetch a white source. So let's grab Goldish Shrine, tap. Stone Brain? That changes things, doesn't it? Shock this in, play Stone Brain. Over to them. All right, we can take Tron away. Pops the Sphere. Stirrings. They Stirrings into Needle. Okay, we can still blow that up with Fragmentize. There's Saga, though. We kind of need to blow that up. Yeah, Stone Brain. So here's my own Saga. So I can go Fragment, blow this up, Stone Brain, and then they can Karnstruct, and then I can Karnstruct? Let's just take them off Tron. Blow this up, Stone Brain, Urza's Power Plant. Okay, so that's their hand. Take all the Power Plants. So they've got one Beseju, two Dismembers, and a Dismember in their hand, one Hay two Haywire Mites, and then it's Karn Great Creator, Ring, Stone of Eric. They have their own Stone Brain main deck, Relic of Progenitus, Worm Coil. Okay, so... The only things that we got to name is, well, actually we have to name a whole bunch because we have to name Karn Ring and Haywire Might, so that's not going to work. Oy. Three O-Stones, two of them in their hand. Okay, well, just grab all of that and then pass to them. So now we just battle with Karnstruck tokens, I guess. But they have Dismember and I don't have a way of getting rid of theirs. Drew Grease Fang. We can use this to go grab Cookbook and we still have to get around Dismember, which we sort of can. I can't just Thoughtseize slash needle right now because then they'll just go grab something else they'll probably grab what haywire might off of this and then they'll grab haywire might off of this and then they'll just blow up my saga and then i'm about mana so i actually do have to needle this right now because if i don't i'll be down a land and then i can't grease fang anymore i guess i can sort of grease fang no i can't because i need to grab cookbook oh man all right let's needle they get to make a construct and fetch a thing make a guy all right urza's saga and then let's thought seize them Okay, they have Haywire in their hand. All right, so I got to take Haywire. Take Haywire. All right, they still fetch a Haywire. God damn it, I forgot about that. So I needed to needle Haywire, not the Karnstructs, but then they would have just made a bunch of Karnstructs. There was just no winning. There was nothing I could name that was going to win out of that situation. 
Yeah, they grab the Haywire, then we're gonna lose Saga and then be completely dead on the board. Oh, Stone. Oh, really? They're not just gonna pop my Saga right now? Why? Why in the world wouldn't you just pop my Saga right now? So I get to res Parhelion? I go fetch... No, I go cookbook, ditch Parhelion. I have to I have to not activate for a construct. I have to float. So float, resolve this, go grab cookbook, then cookbook the Parhelion. Play this, play Grease Fang. I can't believe they didn't just blow up my Urza Saga. Combat, grab the Parhelion, crew. Oh, I guess I didn't have to debate because I couldn't even activate my Saga anyway. Yeah. Combat, swing with Parhelion, triggers. All right. So it bounces back to my hand, and then it's their turn. So what, uh, if they dismember an angel and then pop cookbook, they can survive at one? Haywire popping cookbook. Yeah, okay. So I have a lot of thoughts on the deck, but basically the deck is trash. And there's a lot of reasons for that. I could go into it, but I mean, you saw. Do I really have to spell it out? I do think that Grease Fang and Parhelion can be good enough to compete in modern, but I think the rest of like the entire other shell around that is bad. There basically wasn't like a single other aspect of the deck that I thought was any good outside of the Grease Fang combo. I think Asmo sucks. I think a lot of these, the fact that you like your game plan is graveyard based and then you have all these other cards that are also graveyard based like Unearth, Well uh, Engineer, so that if your opponent brings in graveyard hate, your whole deck stops functioning and that your deck can be hit by basically every single piece of sideboard interaction. So you lose to graveyard hate, you lose to instant speed artifact destruction, or any artifact destruction, you lose to any creature removal, killing your Grease Fang. There's just like no aspect of the deck that actually works. Sideboard's also pretty bad. Like the, the non-artifact stuff is just not good. You need your things to kill stuff at instant speed. And when you're in Mardu colors, you don't have a one mana way of doing that. The Tithing Blade never actually came up. There was never a matchup where it was actually useful to have this. Yeah, just, just really bad. So that'll be Grease Fang. And we've been streaming for 10 hours. So your media recommendation of the day is Kaiji. This is a gambling anime, and it is about a guy who co-signs a loan from a friend who then gets into debt, and he's therefore also in debt as the co-signee. So he has to participate in mafia-led gambling games in order to try to get out of debt. And the appeal of the series comes from the clever games and the way they try to subvert and get around them and win the gambling games. Now, I will say, if you're looking for anything other than that, it does not have a deep story or deep characters. And I would also say that the first episode is a very bad representation of the series. It's The first episode is literally just explaining what the, is going to happen in the rest of the show. So if you start watching this and you're watching episode one and you're like, eh, I'm not really feeling it, just put up with episode one or just straight up skip past it and go to the rest of it. And yep, that is the recommendation. And that's it for Grease Thing.